2K Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Players' Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Major Champion Rich Beam in the booth and it's wonderful to welcome in Henny Koyak who's out on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm pleased to be covering this featured group. We've got a fresh rivalry developing between these two players as well, so that should provide some great entertainment to the spectators this week. Yeah, so this week their goal is to beat John Rahm. Henny, that is by no means an easy feat. Uh, no, I, if John Rahm is fired up, sparks could fly, you want to be out of the way, and he's just going to go straight through like a Spanish bull. <laughs> yes, he, he's fire and brimstone, isn't he, John Rahm? All the Americans couldn't beat him in a Ryder Cup. This player, well, it's an ambitious rivalry to say the least. Mm -hmm. A thing of beauty. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. And choosing the eight iron here. Well, this one's right at the pin. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. And that should calm whatever nerves this player has. Nice opening hole. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. That is absolutely spot on. Going for this green in two, Rich, it's an exciting but daunting task. The green is minuscule from back in the fairway. You know that you have a little bit room over to the left, but you're gonna fall off into a low area. And if you miss it out to the right, you're going to find a very deep bunker on the right-hand side of the green. There's really no great miss around here, but if you're going to go for it, you have to know that your short game is going to bail you out no matter where you miss it. I nice shot that. That should find the surface. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? He's looking at 20 foot. This will be a good putt to hold. They'll be soaring high if this goes in. This one for Eagle. That one had eyes for it the whole way. That is definitely a confidence builder. We'll now move over to John Rahm. He's sitting there just in third place. 14 feet to the cup. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? It's time to check on the leaderboard. Let's take a look at the par three third. Straight away mid iron to short iron shot. Par three, just 177 yards from the back. But this green is always firm. Be wary of that. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. 
Well, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be nervous playing John Rahm, but it doesn't appear that way after this approach shot. Here's John Rahm. Wonderful shot. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Just a four-footer remaining. Looks good off the blade. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Fantastic start right out of the gate. And after that hole, they currently lead in first place with John Rahm in second. Well, the fourth is another great example that it doesn't need to be a long par four to be a testing one. This fourth can be menacing, can't it? Par four, 384 yards from the back. A long snake-like bunker down the right-hand side to a cool little green with all sorts of movement on it. A very fun hole to play indeed. Second shot here on the fourth. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. Mm, that's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. All right, Rich, the par four fifth. A strong hole this one, isn't it? Par four, 471 yards from the back. Drive it out to the left-hand side to give yourself the best angle for your second shot into this long, thin green. From around 140 yards here. Going with the pitching wedge here. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Well, they've certainly got the swing and the groove. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Just didn't drop. A par putt awaits. Yep, tracking nicely. Oh, Rich, is there anything more disappointing setting up what you'd think is a makeable birdie putt, but unfortunately not able to convert? Let's go to John Rahm. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. on the green now but a bit of work left to do here let's take a look at the current standings our current leader is enjoying a seven stroke advantage the tee shot at the par four six has changed a lot now that that tree's been taken out of the way rich but uh, what do you think of this short par four par four 393 yards from the back. Most players taking out a long iron or hybrid just for placement in the fairway. This green is surrounded by tall palm trees. Don't get caught out by one. Just let that shot be water off a duck's back. Henny, how bad is this lie? Oh, no, this is nasty. Just no. Sadly, this one will make a splash. Time now for the fourth shot. Well, 
Looked like they were swinging a snake, not a golf club. Playing their fifth shot. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. He's going to need an incredible stroke of luck to get this out with any momentum going forward to get it on the green. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Three feet to go here to the hole. Nice little putt to hole, that one. Leading by five shots after that. As we go from a wonderful little par four, we go to a challenging longer par four, the seven. Difficult par four, 451 yards, water and sand all the way down the left-hand side. Hit it out to the right, find the green with your second, and sprint to the next hole, making four. Well, I hope you pack the bucket and spade because you're heading to the sand. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Hey guys, we are checking in down here with Justin Rose as he gets set for his next shot here on the 13th. From the sand, looking to get up and down. Ooh, what? Ah, oh, what a shot from the bunker. And back to the course with the live action. This shot now being played from the fairway bunker. Trying to get two, three under par with this putt. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Looks like they may have pushed that one. And this one is for his par. Ouch, that hurts. This one's for bogey. And that was a bogey by our leader. So the rest of the field feeling a little opportunity here to close the gap. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. The eighth hole, a long par three, stretching 240 yards at its maximum. It's no sleeper, that's for sure. I don't find anything sleepy about this hole. The front of this green is so narrow. There's no place to land it, especially when they put the flag stick there. This hole will grab your attention as it should because it's a long iron to a sliver of an opening. Even when they put the pin on the right-hand side, you want no part of it. The center of the green all day long here. Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Oh, that's frustrating. That's disappointing. Oh, a five-footer. It's amazing how tour pros hold these. Oh, that's a clutch par. John, give us an update. What's shaking? 
Hey guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the 10th. This putt is about 28 feet to the cup. It's tracking. That's a fine effort, that one. You always want to putt those ones stone dead. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. The front nine at TPC Sawgrass finishes with a par five, but not easy to get there in two. It is not a big tee shot down the left center is required. Anything out to the right could catch that bunker and even fall into the water over there on the right. If you decide to go for it, you have to hit a fairway metal long iron high over some trees on the left hand side to a very narrow green. The layup shot out to the right will make that third shot so much easier into this tiny green. Tee shot is looking good here. This is the second shot here on the ninth hole. Sitting at one under. Outright first here. Nice recovery there. Judging it beautifully. It's just about three feet away. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to two under. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Well, it's been great watching this player get the best of their rival, but still a long way to go until the end of this tournament. Let's see how it shakes out. Struck. And he's down there. He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Going with the 9 iron, I think. This one's going right at the pin here. That goes down for an eagle. Ooh, tasty little pitch shot. Gets it to go. Fist pumps all around. And let's have another look at that one. Well, Luke, I think he's found his distance. And now four under for the tournament. There's some birdie holes out on this course and the 11th is certainly one of those, but uh, there are some troublesome spots if you get out of play. There definitely is trouble, but the thing I love about this hole the most, Luke, is that there's so many different ways to play it. Most players will take driver off the tee, but from there, 
Now it's anybody's ball game. You don't have to go for the green on the second shot. You can lay it up over the left. You can lay it up over to the right. You can lay it up long left. There's so many different ways of attacking this hole. Each individual is going to do it differently. I love the second shot on this hole. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Hey, guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the 13th. Beautiful shot. That's a good way to move into the top 10. Okay, let's get back to the action. Sitting at minus four, currently leading. Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two. As they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll be rewarded for that play. Well, Rich, you think they can make this one? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. It was on a good line. Wow, almost an eagle. Just missing the birdie there. That's a shame. And that should secure the par on this one. He sits in first position. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well, the tee shot is all that matters on the short par 4 12th. Most players can reach the green. It's just the decision whether the player goes for it or not. They can, but they better be aware that there's a lot of danger up there. Water left obviously is no good, but even bailing out to the right in those dunes, in the mounds, the little pot bunkers on top of those mounds, well, forget about it. That's not a good space either, especially since the green does run pretty hard from right to left. If you want to take this hole on with driver and expecting to make three, well, you need to realize that a five and a six could be easily made as well. Time for the second shot at the 12. Oh, that one just missed the hole. We'll now move over to John Rahm. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Looking great now. Just a couple of inches away from finding that one. This one's for Birdie. Mark it down. That's Birdie number five. And that will take him to five under. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Well, as you start to head for home here at TPC Sawgrass, you're blessed with this wonderful par 313. So many different levels to this green on the par three, playing 181 yards from the back. You can get it close. You can even make a hole in one. But watch out if you hit in the wrong spot on the green. It'll be difficult to two-putt from there. Going with the eight iron here. Quality shot, that one. What's in front of them, Henny? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Never up, never in, as they say, Rich. Wow, shocking to say the least. How do you miss that? Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. 
plenty of trouble around this golf course. The 14th, the par four, represents a number of that. If you hit it down the left-hand side, the golf ball will chase a long way, but you'll be blocked out by some trees. You hit it out to the right, you're going to be on top of a mound, but you'll have a really good idea of what's in front of you. This hole historically plays as one of the toughest ones on the back nine, and it's all because of where that green sits. It sits from right to left with a decent amount of movement in it. It is not straightforward at all. This hole causes players all kinds of problems. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 175 yards. Opting for the six iron. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Oh, gee, you don't see that very often. Superb shot. Let's go to John Rahm. He's sitting there in the rankings at fourth. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, almost went in. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Four feet to the cup. This is their look at birdie. Looks good. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And that will move him to six under par. And now that finds him in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. The par 4 15th again requires another strong tee shot because there's some trees in the way, Rich. One of the more simple tee shots on the golf course, par 4, 470 yards. Just a little fade required off the tee to the fairway. The green sits up above the fairway a little bit, surrounded by a couple of bunkers, but I gotta say, I like this hole. It's straightforward, it's simple, before you head into the final three. Good looking shot, this. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 155. Choosing the 9 iron here. That's a great shot here at the 15th and sets up a look for birdie. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. A couple of birdies on the bounce as they make a move with just a few holes to play. And seemingly an insurmountable lead with just four to play. Gotta like his position. We'll now move over to John Rahm. He's currently in third place. Yeah, that was silky smooth out of the sand. Good shot. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. As we head to the 16th tee, the famous par five, Rich, the start of the gauntlet. Fun-filled adventure waits. Find the fairway, and let's see how brave you are. Do you want to take on the second shot and try and knock it on the green? Of course you do, but watch out. Lots of water awaiting a wayward second. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. <laughs> to win the Players' Championship, you've got to run the gauntlet, Rich. Here we are with that big testing second shot at 16. The water down the right-hand side is very obvious. What's not obvious are the grass bunkers on the left-hand side. You hit it in those, 
no guarantee of getting up and down. If you take on the green and find it, then you're almost guaranteed a birdie four. Oh, what a wonderful play, leading with intent. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? Look, I got to say, I'm really not liking their chances here, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Okay, steady now. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. That will drop, and it will extend the lead. And that will take him to eight under. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. That was a gallant attempt. That'll sting a bit. This putt just five feet away from the hole. That's well hold. Let's go to John Rahm. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Chosen the pitching wedge here. You like that, didn't you? So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. When you feel like you've survived the 17th, you stand on the 18th tee and you think to yourself, where do I hit this? It's just one of the most difficult, visually intimidating holes I think you'll ever face in your life. Somehow, try and hit it down the right-hand side of the fairway, keep it out of the rough, and from there, hit it out to the right-hand side of the green somehow, also keeping it out of the rough or that pot bunker short right. Listen. You'd be happy to make five here, that's for sure. Fours are magnificent. Threes are unicorns. They really don't happen that much. It is such a difficult, demanding finishing hole. Probably one of the toughest in championship golf. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Ah, yes. Phenomenal approach shot, that one. Good shot in there. I like their chances for making birdie. And this is why they put in hours and hours of practice. A putt to win it all. That's inside the range. Hopefully they won't take that. And that'll do it, Rich. Players champion. That's one of the elite wins in their career. Winning the Players Championship, Luke, is easily as good as winning any major because the field quality is so amazing. This is going to speak volumes for this player and the career going forward. This is a heck of a win. I can't wait to see what they produce next. And Henny, that was some impressive play to take down a rival of that caliber and to win the event. What a performance. Luke, while they've been out on the golf course, I've been cooking. Here, smell this. We've got to eat up. It's some humble pie. We shouldn't ever have doubted them. There was some spectacular golf out there and it was a pleasure to watch. Well, that's all we've got time for today. On behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Beam, Henny Koyak and John McCarthy, plus all the hardworking folks behind the action at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.